Transforming Belmont is a project that was conceived of and implemented by the Belmont Art Association. And the idea was that local artists would be selected to transform the transformer boxes at certain intersections around town and create something beautiful and pleasing and joyous for all of the residents to appreciate when they walk, bike, and drive through town. I've always been a dog lover and I have been painting dog portraits for fun and for friends and on commission for at least five years now. I actually have a whole collection of dog portraits that I've done in watercolor and I just thought it would be really fun to um, do a Dogs of Belmont series on this box. To, to lay down the general portrait of a dog doesn't actually take very long, but to go over it and add details and nuances and really try to capture an expression, uh, I needed to come back and think about it and look at it and do one or two more passes. One of the most important things in painting a dog portrait is capturing the emotional expression that the dog has on his face or her face and to really zero in on that expression you have to show expression through the eyes so i take a long time to think about what i want the eyes to look like and how to capture them and dog eyes are really different from people eyes in that often they don't show a lot of white the way people eyes are, do, but um, you can still have eyebrows which convey uh, where the dog is looking and how the dog is feeling. And reflection of light in the eyes is also really important to show a little sparkle. So I spend a lot of time <laughs> thinking about eyes and then ears is another indicator for dogs about how they're feeling. So I spend a lot of time thinking about what kind of ears I want my dogs to have and how those ears should be positioned. It's interesting working on this corner specifically. There is a lot of traffic on this corner and there is a stop light here that's very long. And when I've been painting, I've had a tremendous amount of people honking and waving and yelling out of their cars but lots of encouragement lots of positive feedback on the dogs um, similarly there are a lot of people who are walking and biking on this street and down on this corner particularly people walking their dogs actually I had a lot of people stop and say I've been watching this project progress and I just love it uh, makes me happy it's a beautiful addition to this corner, um, which makes me feel really great. My favorite comment came from this uh, father and son who were walking their dog. It was just earlier today, as a matter of fact. And uh, they walked by and the, the boy said, did you do this? And I said, yes, I did. And he said, I love it. I think it's great. It's my phone background. I think that's the highest compliment I probably can get. Public art in our town is important because it, it highlights aspects of our public spaces that otherwise are either ugly or invisible and that could be turned into assets. When I started painting this, a couple of people mentioned that they never even knew that there was a transformer box here, even though they have lived in this neighborhood and driven on this street a thousand times. Now there is a landmark, I hope, and um, I hope people uh, can say, I, you know, I live two houses down from the transformer box with all the dogs on it. It's been a really gratifying project. Um, I think the most gratifying part of it, what, what I get out of it is I hope that um, people also find 
joy and satisfaction and beauty in in looking at this in what's otherwise been kind of a dark moment for all of us.